People. People. I am holding a Sire R3 Dreadnought acoustic guitar, which last year, when we first had these in, Mike Dawes, the unbelievably awesome acoustic guitar player, said that he thought that this range of Sire guitars were the best affordable range of acoustic guitars he'd ever played. And you should watch that video, and I'll put a link in the description below. This will cost you £299, and it will enable you to do a G chord like this. Pretty nice sounding G chord. I even threw the C in for free. <laughs> but if you had like a lot more than three hundred pounds, if you had another eight thousand pounds, so if you had eight thousand two hundred ninety nine pounds, yes, you could buy this Martin D forty five reimagined on a and <laughs> if you play a G chord on this guitar. Sounds like this. I could hear 8,000 extra could angels falling from heaven <laughs> in that G chord. I really could. There's That's a, a lot, lot of angels. More bass end in that. That's a big pile of angels. But let's be honest with you. What does 8,000 pounds get you? It is Lee. a bit insane. I mean, it's a beautiful looking guitar. It's wonderful. I mean, so the D45 is the top of the range. I'm going to be very careful with this guitar, but you get bling, right? You, you get, get the, you bling. Get, so you get forward shifted uh, scallop bracing. You get ebony, ebony. You get Indian rosewood back and sides on this one. Um, where the other one, it'll be Brazilian rose, so that's why it'll be like 50 grand or something stupid. You've got all the inlays, so you see the abalone inlays, not just around this edge here, but also there, there, down the top of each here, around the rosette, around there, massive abalone inlays, abalone uh, CMF Martin and gold tuners, did you say CMF Martin? What's the MF for? <laughs> CMF. Chris, uh, what's the F? Frederick. For? Frederick Martin. I think so. Now, shall I tell you why we have a D45 in stock? Why have you got a D45 in stock reimagined? Because last year, somebody ordered a D45 from Andersons. We wouldn't normally stock that. It's a very certain famous somebody that I can't probably for GDPR issues tell you what their name was. I'm going to tell you it's a lady who made a lot of money out of writing books that became films. But anyway, she ordered one and it turned up and I literally just thought, holy mother of moly, I have never played anything I like mean, this, this is special when you, it, like, when you hold it. Yeah. It's the, I mean, if it's you special. have written books and earned a lot of money from turning them into films and stuff and you have 8,000 lying around and you're thinking to yourself, I should buy an acoustic guitar. Honestly, this is the guitar you need to buy. It is exquisite. It is. Um, it is just. Let's just. Let me just play a little bit more. Yes, play. Let's just, bask in the glory. I'm just gonna play a, just some chords because that's what you want to do. Alhamora. It's like everything it else just, in here went insane quiet, didn't and it? And it's just chords. I'm not, I'm, I mean, these guitars, the Dreadnoughts, Martin Dreadnoughts for 
any chords like that, it's just my favourite. Yeah. It's just, it, I know it, I agree. You can I do. Just, you, I mean, even a D eighteen is pretty expensive. But, a D18, but you can do it. You can get magic from a D eighteen. Yeah. D twenty eight. Look. Look. He's got the hair standing on it. I'm gonna the hair up. standy on end test. That's, not that many guitars make that. That doesn't happen that no. often to me. It really doesn't. I really. This is a very special guitar. So look, that's um, a D45. I guess to be fair, do, just some of you eagle-eyed ones may have spotted that the end pin wasn't in the D45. That is how all Martin guitars are yes. shipped. De end pins in the case. And why do they do that? Because in case it gets, um, it's, this wood, it settles in. Uh, so when you get home, leave it in the case for a little bit, open it up, let it acclimatize. Because they always say, leave it in the box, in the case in the box for 24 hours before you open it up. No just, one's going to do that though, are they? No, because they, they just oh, ordered their so brand new D45. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but it's been sitting around, yeah. you know, here. So, so, but that's what people should do. And then you can, because it'll move around, you know, it might yeah. get a ding on the, you know, the whole thing will, I've yeah. seen these guitars being stepped right through by delivery people. Ooh. Just open up a case and it's just somebody stepped right through one of these and you're going, That's heartbreaking. No. Yeah. Well, look, but it so is that, absolutely magic. That's the D45. Magical. It's magic. With and... the volute there, look. Ooh. This is the called loot. a volute here. So beautiful. Look at those machine heads. They're so beautifully made, aren't they? Yeah. Anyway, back in the world of reality, where even 300 pounds is quite a lot of money, um, panic not, because you definitely, definitely are not getting a guitar that's like 100 times, well, not 100, my maths isn't good enough, what, 30 times less yeah. than that guitar. No, but that's your um, thing, isn't it, D? And I do the honestly think that the Sire range, there are two basic uh, variants in the sire range. R3 is a solid spruce top with laminate back and sides and sells at 299 you can get different colors, different body shapes, whatever. And then the R7 is... Uh, it's like a grand performance solid, case, is it? No, same idea, but solid spruce top oh, with that's right. solid rosewood back and sides. So that's actually, right. if anything, that would be a slightly sort of, you know, might be a slightly fairer comparison, yeah. albeit that we, we wanted something more affordable. And again, you can buy those in different sizes and different <sighs> electronics and stuff like that. But. Here, here, here. It's crazy. Okay, let's just pop over. Yeah, you you just you be the player exclusively for this. You bit. got it. It's okay. kind of a cool video, this one, because I, I don't want it to be. You get a, this, this is not a bad guitar. You can get a great really guitar my, no, for three hundred pounds. Absolutely, I mean, really great guitar. And, and again, guitar. and check out the R seven version of this, the one that's a completely solid, uh, the completely solid version. Yeah, which is six hundred pounds. Yeah, really, really great guitars. But again. <laughs> I think sometimes it's fun just to dream, isn't it? About yeah. like, you know, one day if my lottery numbers come up, what would I buy? Or I write a massively popular movie. I would certainly like buy one of those. Well, have a listen to this. This is a G. I know what's happened here. You know what's happened? Yeah. Someone's basically given you the keys to a brand new, like, uh, VW Golf or something like that. Yeah. And you've spun it and you're just like, this is the best, brilliant. It handles the corners. I love it. It's so, yeah. so good. And then someone said, take my Rolls Royce Phantom out for a spin. Yeah. And then you just sort of, then you get back yeah. and, you, and you're just like, oh, I'm a bit depressed now. Anyway, anyway, here it comes. Can take it, you know it's what I mean. Ridiculous. We talked about that before. When you, you know, from from the price point of three hundred up to eight thousand three hundred, 
what you get sort of tails off at, at oh, some point, right? Humongous. But but it's the it's just the headroom and the and the harmonic response and the everything I, in between. I right? also think realistically the, the, the bulk same. of the difference between a D forty five and a D twenty eight in terms of the cost bling. is bling, isn't it? Yeah, it's bling. So it's you bling. know you, you you don't. But I mean, even a D twenty eight is pretty expensive. This is work, but, hey, workmanship, right? But it, just to chord on a on a I G love it. like this. so easy to play. If you want to try a guitar like this in Andertons, I'm afraid you'll have to phone up and make an appointment beforehand because we don't keep these on display, understandably, but you're welcome to uh, come in and check it out if you're feeling flush. And if you have 8,299 uh, yes, pounds. <laughs> uh, the serial number for this, just in case the very one that you want is the one Pete's playing. Uh, if this is the one that you want, is this the one you want? Ooh, you're ooh, the one that ooh. I want. Honey, it's 2185. Eight, three, four. Hear it. Hey! So there we are. I'm so I'm so happy to play this guitar. I'm crying. 300 pounds or 8,300 pounds. You can still walk away with a nice guitar. Yep. Just some are slightly nicer than others. Yeah. Anyway, I've been the captain. And I've been Danish Pete. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.